Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin for the WooCommerce upsells. Using this plugin, you can create different types of upsells. For example, checkout upsell, cart upsell, frequently bought together, or you can also create next order coupons. So whenever someone makes a purchase, it is automatically going to create a discount coupon for the next order. You can also show the upsells on the thank you page. The name of the plugin is Upsell WP. Boost your WooCommerce revenue with upsell cross sales and more this plugin has free as well as the premium version so I'm going to start with the free plugin and I'll show you how you can install and create the upsells using the free plugin later I'm going to install the premium version of the plugin and I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium version what features are added in the premium version the pricing of the premium plugin is only $69 per year for a single website and in that you will get all the features Checkout upsell, cart upsell, frequently bought together, next order coupons, one click upsell offer. So all these different types of upsells and features are included in the premium version. So I have created different campaigns here for the checkout upsell, cart upsell, post purchase upsell and next order coupons. If you want to buy the premium version of the plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I have WooCommerce installed on this website. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. And here search for upsell WP. So this is the plugin upsell WP WooCommerce upsell cross sell order bumps one click upsell frequently bought together next order coupon and product recommendation. So all these features are available in this plugin click on activate plugin. Alright so the plugin is activated in the left hand panel you will see the option upsell WP checkout upsell click on it. And this is the dashboard of this plugin on the dashboard you will see upsell revenue conversion upsell order so this is the report of the upsells and you will also see the option campaigns engines reports and settings if you go to settings these are the basic settings of this plugin we will go through the settings later first we are going to create a campaign a campaign is nothing but upsells that we are going to create in the left hand panel also you will see the option campaigns you can click on it or you can click on campaigns here click on create new campaign so when you click on create new campaign you will see the options to create new campaigns for the checkout for the free plugin you will see three different options checkout upsell cart upsells and frequently bought together all the other options are only for the pro except this next order coupon and thank you page upsells so on the thank you page also you can create upsell so this is the first option of the checkout checkout upsells so it will be shown on the checkout page the next option is cart upsells which will be shown on the cart page next option is frequently bought together and for the free version you have next order coupon which will create a coupon for the next order i'll show you how does this work and double the order this will offer customers to double whatever they are ordering at the checkout and offer them a discount with one click and this is for the pro plugin in post purchase upsell it is going to create upsell after placing the first order choose this type to display the upsell offer after customer clicks the place order button so first we are going to create the checkout upsell so click on create campaign and let's name it as checkout it is not limited for one campaign only you can create multiple campaigns this is the name then we have offers where do you want to show the offer the first option is before payment gateway let's go to checkout page and let's see how does this look let's add one product here okay and let's go to checkout page so this is the payment gateway so it will show the offer before the payment gateway then we have bottom of the checkout page before place order button after place order button so we will see how does this look first we will add an offer here so click on add offer and select the product that you want to offer as the upsell so I'll go to the shop page here and let's let's select one of the products here let's try this one gemstone ring so I'm going to search for gemstone and you will see that option is here so I'm going to select that one and this is the current price of this product 
and how many quantity you want i can select one quantity and what is the offer you can select percentage discount or fixed discount free or no discount so i'm going to select percentage discount and percentage discount will be let's say 50 percent so we are going to offer 50 percent discount on this product okay now usage limit is nothing but how many times you want this campaign to run for the entire website if you want to generate this offer only 50 times throughout the sale then you can use this option overall usage limit so it is going to offer this product only 50 times on your woocommerce website the next option is usage limit per customer so here you can avail this offer once only for one customer so any customer will be able to grab this offer once only All right so i'm going to use usage limit per customer one and this is how the offer will look this is content what you want to show at the top we have 50 percent offer so it is going to show the discount and offer and let's add let's say only for today Okay, so from here you can customize the content and here it shows this content hey there you can get this offer by just clicking so this is the content if you want to change it you can change this content and this is the button get this exclusive offer now this is offer page and here it shows offer image this is the image of the product if you want to customize it you can change this image and you can add your own image so i'm going to keep the product image then we have design option this is the template you can select different templates right now it is using template one so if i want to change it i can click on change template and from here i can select one of the templates let's try this one i'm going to select this one and uh, this is the preview on the desktop and uh, this is how it will look on the mobile device right so let's select desktop and uh, this is our offer design so I'm going to save this option and uh, this is our offer if you want you can add more offers and you will see an option here a random offer so it is going to show the offers uh, randomly if you have multiple offers it is going to show the offers uh, randomly all offers and a b testing offer is available only for the pro version all right so we have created an offer for the checkout upsell if you want to add any condition you can also add condition let's click on add condition and for the condition we have different options here products in the cart so you can define a product if that product is in the cart then only it is going to show this offer categories of items in the cart if any particular category product is in the cart then only it is going to show this offer then we have number of line items in the cart cart items quantity applied coupons in the cart and cart subtotal and the other options are also available i'm going to select cart subtotal and let's say if the cart subtotal is more than one thousand dollar or rupees then only it is going to show this offer so let's add this condition here click save so we have got the condition in the right hand side you will see optional settings this is the priority if you have multiple offers or if you have multiple campaigns you can set the priority of this particular campaign schedule this campaign you can select the date and for that date only it is going to show this campaign you can set the start date as well as end date so from here you can schedule this offer or the campaign and below that we have tutorials how to use it all right so we have created one campaign let's click on save and close all right so the checkout upsell campaign is ready now let's go to the shop page we have one item in the check we have one we already have one item in the card so let's go to checkout and the quantity of this card and the subtotal of this card is only 300 so it's not going to show the upsell let's add some more products here let's go to shop and uh, let's add this one okay now let's go to checkout and now you will see the subtotal is more than 1000 and it is showing the upsell product you can see that the position of this upsell is just above the place order button if you want to change it you can change it let's go back to the campaign click on checkout and here you will see the display if i change it to bottom of the checkout page save and close let's go back refresh it and you will see the position is changed 
it is now below this place order button let's go back and uh, let's try another one after before place order button or before billing section let's try this one save it refresh it and here you will see the offer is before billing section so i'll prefer to keep it before payment gateways save and close and it looks better here all right so we have created upsell campaign now let's go back and try another campaign go to campaign so click on create new campaign and let's try card upsell click on create campaign and select the name here card upsell or let's leave it as card go to offers where do you want to show top of the card page a random offer click on add offer and i'm going to select the same product again gemstone or oh, let's try another one the second one and quantity will be one again percentage discount will be 50 percent and overall usage limit or usage limit per customer will be one and this is how it will look on the desktop let's go to content if you want to change the content you can change the content or and go to design and change the template let's try this one so this is how it will look and this is how it will look on the mobile device all right let's click on save for this template go to conditions and add a new condition here again i'm going to select the condition more than thousand then only show this campaign or the offer click on save all right so we have created a new campaign for the cart page so let's go back and go to the cart page and on the cart page you will see this upsell so this offer is created for the cart page if i go to checkout we have another offer on the checkout page now i do have the pro version of this plugin so i'm going to install the pro version of this plugin so let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin click on upload plugin i have already downloaded the plugin so i'm going to upload the plugin so click on browse and browse the pro plugin click on install now and click on activate plugin so the pro plugin is activated let's go to upsell wp in the left hand corner and let's go to settings here now if i go to campaigns you will see the basic settings of the campaign so you can go through these settings these are pretty basic settings if you want to show the product details on the offer you can show it you can enable that option or in a pop-up in a new tab or disable it currently it is disabled then we have cart and checkout upsell dynamic offers display if i go to short codes and if you want to use the short codes to show these upsells on specific pages then you can use the short code also this is the short code for the cart page upsell this is for the checkout page upsell so if you want to use the short code to integrate the upsell in the template itself you can use the short code all right let's go back to dashboard and then go to campaigns right now click on create a new campaign and you will see that we have these options available product add-ons cart add-ons post purchase upsell pop-ups or next order coupons let's try this one post purchase i'm going to create a campaign for the post purchase let's name it as post purchase and let's add one product again i'm going to use the same one quantity one I just want to show you how does this look i'm going to keep the same template you can go to content all right so if you want to change the content you can change it from here so i'm going to click on save and i'm not going to make any condition here leave it as it is click on save and close all right so we have got three campaigns this is the post purchase after making a purchase it is going to show this campaign let's click on create a new campaign let's try this one next order coupon click on create campaign and name it as coupon percentage discount will be let's say 10 percent discount and this is the coupon prefix and coupon length will be six and show advanced settings here minimum spent uh, if you want to add some minimum spent then you can add some minimum spent here to create the coupon so i'm going to create 
Let's add 1000 again and maximum spent will be 1500. Individuals only. All right. Uh, processing completed. This is for the completed order and for the processing order. So this coupon will be created for processing as well as completed order. Template, leave it as it is. I'm not going to make changes. I just want to show you how this work. Optional settings. Again, you have usage limit. You can create usage for one time or you can also limit the number of coupons to be created. Here, I am going to set one coupon for one customer. So let's see what other settings we have. Top of the thank you page after the order details and after display location on emails. All right, let's click on save and close. Now we are on the checkout page. We have already seen how does this look on the card page and on the checkout page. So I'm going to make a purchase here. So let's try some dummy content here. Currently we have only one option here that is cash on delivery. This is a demo website. So I'm going to click on place order. Now here it says that your order is not processed yet and you have an upsell here you can see the upsell that we have created for the post purchase so this is the post purchase upsell that is showing on the page now here customer can add the offer to the order to the existing order or they can click on no thanks and the order will be processed or you can see the option here also skip offer and once they skip the offer it will go to the original offer and it will process the original offer without adding the post purchase upsell all right so i'm going to click on add offer to my order and you will see that the offer is added and here you will see coupon code is also generated the 10 percent discount coupon code for the next order is also created automatically and this is the coupon code that they can use for the 10 percent discount code in the next order so this is the option that we have used next order coupon all right and here you will see the order summary and in the order summary you will see this product is added at a 50 percent discount all right so you can see that there are different types of upsells that you can create using this plugin checkout upsell cart upsell frequently bought together product add-ons cart add-ons so all these options are available and these upsells will definitely help you increase the sales on your woocommerce website if you're looking for only checkout upsell or cart upsell you can definitely try using the free plugin and if you want to use the other upsell options you can definitely go for the pro plugin so if you want to buy this plugin i'll give you the links in the description box you can use my link so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video Thanks for watching Quick Tips.